What is hatching, Tuggy Peeps? Old Man Tup coming at you today with our first ever WBE submission onto the channel. And that is our draft analysis for WBE Season 3. Uh, we got contacted by the league and they said, hey, we would like you to join. And I was like, me? Are you sure? Is A Drive pulling my leg again? I mean, last time I did that, it cost my hip. Nope, they were not pulling my leg, even though it was a drive. So let's take a look at the draft we got. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed a drive and Joey Pokey Aim did the live draft stream, which was awesome. Unfortunately, I was only able to make the first day because the second day they streamed pretty much through church and dinner at my mom's. So we missed the second half, but really enjoyed everybody who come out the first day. Uh, thank you to Joey and Pokeaim for putting that together for us. Thank you to all of the graphics people. Uh, they were all thanked in the videos. I don't know everybody's name, and I don't want to leave anybody out, so I'm not going to start naming names. But now that we're almost a minute in, let's dive into our very first pick. Now, we picked 27th of 28. So we were the next to last pick, but the good thing was we knew we were pretty much going to get two things we wanted together. Now, first off, we wanted to go with Mega Deancey. And we had that all the way till Joe, not Joe, John, uh, Pokemon, who was two picks before us, and he took it. And I was just like, oh man, because I have had Mega Deancey in the past, and I love it. But we got this big bad Mamma Jamma right here. That is Charizard Megaform X. That's right. X gonna give it to you. So, this thing is just fantastic. I have had it in the past. I used it in the PPL D2 way back in the day when I took over for somebody. I inherited it, and it is just amazing. Ask Ryquin about it. He still has flashbacks. But this thing, it's just, what do you switch into a Megazard? Uh, it gets Earthquake, Flare Blitz, Dragon Claw. It has Tough Claws, so Flare Blitz and Dragon Claw just gets boosted. If you want, it gets 130 Special Attack, which matches its 130 Regular Attack, and it's a bulky boy. Uh, gets access to Will O Wisp. It's got 10, yeah, 10, 111 Defense, a respectable 85 Special Defense, and not a ton of weaknesses. Uh, still weak to the edge quake combo, but outside of that, I mean, this thing doesn't have, I mean, loses a quad weakness once it mega evolves, which is super nice. So you're only getting super effective damage on you, but this thing is just a beast. Okay, round two. Uh, picking something that I don't know that we've had any draft league. We've had it in tournaments before. And I mean, who hasn't played with Rotom Wash in the past couple of generations? This thing is just fantastic. One of the best pivot defoggers in the game, hands down. Don't at me. But this thing has one weakness, which is grass, which is quad resisted by our buddy over there, Mega Charizard. And this is immune to the earthquakes that plague Mega Charizard X. So... Really love the synergy between these two. Uh, like I said, this gives us access to early defog, which we need for Charizard support. And uh, this thing just has so many tricks up its sleeves, quite literally with trick. But, I mean, you can trick scar scarf specs onto things. I mean, a specs hydro pump from this is no joke. So, but it can be run defensively, offensively, support. It has access, I think, to every status condition possible, even confusion. Uh, not sure what the ruling is on that on this league, but I highly doubt we're going to be using Confuse Ray. But you never know. Old Man Tup likes to keep it fresh and frosty. Even though we got the water type, Old Man Tup does do the laundry in his household because real men wash laundry. Just like Rotom Wash. Alright, next we got pick three, and we picked a Pokemon that uh, near and dear to my heart I've used multiple times in multiple leagues, and I love, love, love... Roserade will always be named Billy Idol. Don't if you don't understand, look up Billy Idol. Go to Shiny Roserade. You'll be like, ah, okay, I can see it. And if you can't, you're wrong. 
I'm sorry, you're wrong. So that's what we got going on. This thing has quite a few, I mean, all the abilities, in my opinion, are viable. Natural cure if you're worried about status ailments, uh, mainly burn and paralysis. Uh, poison point if you're in a super defensive set but you want to get that uh, cheeky little poison on something. Bumping off you, catching a U-turn maybe. And technician, which boosts hidden powers, which is amazing because this thing will almost always be running hidden power. Almost always. But this also lends credence to one of my all-time favorite things to do, which is subseed. This thing has sub and leech seed, and it's just fantastic. It's got a good 90 speed stat. Again, reasonable bulk, good special defense, uh, 125 special attack. Uh, this thing is just a beast. It can be run specs, it can be run choice, you can put back, yeah, black sludge on it, and like I said, make it a pesky, bulky set. It's just amazing. I love it, and I can't wait to get some use in it in the WBE. Next, we're going to round four, and we're going to be bringing up one of my favorite mons since Gen 4, and that is Gliscor. I've loved using it competitively all the days. It's just so good. This thing is so hard to kill 1v1 outside of something hitting it with an ice move, and even then this thing carries relative bulk that it can take some HP ices from things and it's not stab. So that's awesome. I got that poison heal ability, which is always excellent. This gives us access to stealth rocks and another defogger should we need it. You never want one thing to be locked into a roll. You want to have multiple options, but huge 125 defense on this thing. This doesn't even care. It just takes hits for days. And then it gets poison heal, so it can't even be statused. And if something does toxic you, it's even better. But yeah, it's awesome. This thing can toxic, it can earthquake, it can stealth rock, it can U-turn, it can defog, it can roost for days. It's just an awesome thing. It can swords dance, it can baton pass, it can either rock pol polish or agility. I don't remember which one specifically. But we do have the ability to pass stats in this league as long as it is not speed plus something. So, Gliscor comes in, takes a couple hits, and passes a Swords Dance or an Agility to Megazard X. GG, no re. So, that is awesome. Really looking forward to get some use out of this Gliscor and how it pairs well with the other things. In uh, Rotom Washing, it pair very well. We got Rose Raid to cover the Grass Weakness in there, so it's just awesome. So we got a Firewire to Grass car. We do have a Dragon. And I want to complete my cores. And I need a Steel and a Fairy. So what am I going to do? I always have trouble, just like all old people do, losing their keys. So I'm going to get the Pokemon that's going to help me with that. We're bringing Klefki. Another Pokemon that I have had in draft before. And I have had Klefki and Charizard. If I'm not mistaken, in PPLD2, I had Klefki and Charizard on the same team. And they pair well together. Now I know what you think. It's tough. You're running a really slow team so far. With Charizard being the only base 100. And Gliscor coming in after that at 95. Now what do we got here? We got Prankster T-Wave. We got Speed Control. So we can bring this bad boy in. Paralyze all the things. This thing gets access to so many useful utility moves. But it can stack spikes, it can T-Wave, it can Toxic, it has Magnet Rise to negate its ground weakness. And outside of that, it's only weak to Fire, which we have multiple resists for already, which is just excellent. Uh, this thing gets access to Play Rough, it can Foul Play, so it doesn't even care. It doesn't care at all. That's this whole team, it doesn't care. We are building a team of bulky mons that just come in and ruin your day. By the end of the time you're done playing with Old Man Tubby pulling your hair out and questioning why you decide to play this game. Uh, you do that anyways with any human draft. But, you know. So we're looking at how many points we got left over and we're thinking, you know, we could probably still afford another tier one. What do they have? 
hanging around up there that's left that shouldn't be. And I'm just like, there's no way this thing's left there. Because this pick was, how many picks in was this? Let me, let me check real quick. This pick was pick 142 in round, 142 total. This was our round six pick. And it is the one, the only, Tyranitar. Now, we do have regular Tyranitar, not Mega Tyranitar. I do prefer regular Tyranitar, just because it gets a little bit more utility with the ability to have items like Assault Vest, Leftovers. Um, oh shoot, I lost the name of the rock. The Sandy Rock or Sandy Stone or whatever it's called that makes the sand stream last longer but this is just an amazing pokemon uh one of my favorite things if i want to be cheeky because almost nothing one shots this the ability to run a weakness policy set because this thing is so bulky it's got base 100 hp base 110 defense and base 100 special defense i mean it's not the fastest thing in the world this has access to rock polish you rock polish up something hits you with a super effective move that doesn't do a terrible amount of damage and activate your weakness policy and then you just wreck shop on the rest of the team but this thing can also be defensive like i said it can be run with the assault vest it also has access to rocks and this thing's move pool is no joke gets bolt beam access it has fire moves it can dragon dance it can do almost all the things outside of reliable recovery this has very few shortcomings yes it is quad weak to fighting but yes it can take fighting attacks still because it's just so gosh diggity darn bulky so that's awesome and like i said that was our round six pick moving on to round seven don't you Taking a look at the team, we're like, we only really have one Pokemon, well, two Pokemon that want to take ground-type attacks. So let's, let's patch that up a little bit, and we are going to bring the lady with her hat, Miss Magus. Something I've used to great success in the past. Got that 105 speed, which does finally peak us something over top of the 100 base speed barrier. Now, not super fast, but this thing has access to Nasty Plot. It can Calm Mind. It has all the tricksy ghost moves like Will-O-Wisp and all the good things. All the things you want your ghost to be able to do. Again, this, I think, has access to every kind of status. So we can be spreading around all the statuses, get this thing in, stuff weakened down, set up a substitute, nasty plot, calm mind up, and the combination of Shadow Ball and HP fighting on this thing is just devastating. Uh, if we're running a team like we have that likes to spread around the statuses, the access to Hex is just fantastic. And this is just a good, good girl. I love Miss Magus. Mistrevis is one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Having this on the team, giving us a ground weakness, or giving us a ground immunity, giving us a fighting immunity, and giving us a normal immunity, we'll take all the immunities we can get. Because that is just amazing. So really excited to use this girl. Next, we are going to be looking at what was our what? Round 8 pick and that is something that's going to give us even more speed alone dug trio don't you think it's up you already have steel type you already have ground type we we have a really solid team already so looking to shore up a few things this gets sand force so we can run this as a sand team and that just makes this thing hit like a truck four days you got 110 speed 100 base attack but you get that sand force boost throw on a life orb and again you've got the ground type attacks you've got access to the stab iron head which is just amazing 
amazing. And this is good typing. It matches well with the team. It gives us options, so Gliscor doesn't have our have to be our electric community every single week. And again, this gives us a little bit more speed. And it just, with the sand up, it hits like a truck. So really looking forward to that. Next, we're looking for a bit of bulk. We need to add to the team. And what better to grab than a low tier psychic type. And one of my favorite was left. And that is Musharna. Now this thing is just amazing it has synchronized so something wants to come in toxic you it gets toxic right back something wants to burn you it gets burnt right back and this is a bulky bulky dream baby with that 116 hit point that 85 defense and 95 special defense again this thing has access to calm mind it's got all the psychic attacks it's just really really good slow mon and since our team isn't overwhelmingly fast having access to trick room is amazing so really looking forward to that and base 29 speed not much going to be out slowing this here but this thing very underrated 107 special attack so this thing can come in and just instantly hit hard it doesn't even need to set up so that's really good now our last pick, this will be round 10 for us, and we don't have a fighting type, so that gives us another resistance to the dark type, which we don't have a ton of stacked right now, so that's something that's always running around and super good. We do have a really good dark type, so that wasn't what we are worried about. We do, didn't need to resist especially since two of our last three picks were weak to it that is going to be the hairy one itself hairy yama this thing just has so many hit points 144 base hit point that huge attack 120 and this thing just has access to all the moves you want your fighting type to have it gets access to the fake out it gets sheer force it has thick fat it has guts all good abilities you can rock that thick fat give yourself an extra ice and fire resistance not that this team is super weak to either of those but just having that option for the resist stacked on top of what it already has is good guts so it can come in and boost that already high 120 base attack and that's just amazing. Again, super slow, but does have some moves that can capitalize on that. Gets access to Bullet Punch. And like I said already, the Fake Out. So that is really, really good. And Hariyama is going to round out the team for us. So you guys, let me know what you think. The team we have, our Mega is Mega Charizard. Our Tier 1 is Tyranitar. Our Tier 2... Rotom Wash, Tier 3, Roserade, Tier 4, Miss Magus, Tier 5, the Alolan Doug Trio, which I'm thinking will be, I'm going to call right now being the budget pick of the WBE season. We'll see what happens, but, and these were just all our extra Pokemon, Gliscor, Klefki, Masharna, and Hariyama. Really happy with how the team turned out. I know what you think, Tom, this is a really slow, really bulky team. Yeah, this is a really slow, really bulky, really hard-hitting team. And I think this team really gels well together. And I'm very, very excited to use it. So, once again, I'm really excited about this. Let me know what you guys think about the team in the comments section down below. Tell me what you think our odds are doing good this season. There's 28 coaches total. Let me know what you think about that sexy Piratitas new logo that bill standish my man made for us just give me a heads up let me know what you think and i'm just so excited for this to start it'd be a new league with a bunch of people about half i know and half i don't so i'm really excited to get to play some new people and settle some scores with some old ones i'm looking at you dan but anyways i'm old man top thank you guys for making it this deep into the match the match yeah wow woof this deep into the draft analysis 
I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,